Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about the diagonals. Before we've added, we've multiplied, but today we're just going to look. And you've probably realized this pattern now that we've looked at it a couple of times, but today I'm going to be addressing the diagonals. First off, let's look at the first diagonal. Really easy, just a couple of ones. The next one, also really simple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the counting numbers. Here's where it gets interesting. If you look at the third diagonal, that's actually something called the triangular numbers. And the triangular numbers are basically you start with the one dot, then you add two to the bottom of the triangle, then three, then four, and you're just counting how many dots are in that triangle as you add the dots. Okay, this row is something called the tetrahedral numbers. And we'll look at what those are exactly in just a little bit. The next ones are the pentatope numbers, and these continue down. So for now, we're just going to say that the first row, those are ones. The second row are counting numbers. And you can write these counting numbers as the row number n, choose 1. Right, because this is the first row, choose 1. You can say that this row, which is the triangular numbers, are n plus 1, choose 2. Okay. You can say that the tetrahedral numbers, are actually n plus 2 choose 3. You can say that the penta are n plus 3 choose 4, and these continue. So you can write the diagonals in terms of these combinations. So I hope that you found the sequence within the diagonals really cool. See you soon.